Hello and good evening everyone, Phil here and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday the 4th of March 2024. And oddly enough, I'm actually view, uh, filming this immediately after the end of my first stream because there is no late stream tonight. Uh, over the month of March, there's probably going to be several instances like this where I can only do one stream a day because of personal stuff going on behind the scenes that I gotta take care of, private Patreon videos that I have to make, and so it is what it is. I'll let you know well ahead of time when this happens, but it happened today. That's why there's only one stream. Uh, that's why I'm only going to be talking about one stream in the Daily Wrap today. Um, incidentally, I think I will delay the upload of this video or maybe like schedule it for later tonight because the funny part would be imagine if I upload the podcast and today's gameplay and the Daily Wrap and it all goes live at once. That would be a little weird, right? So I'll probably stagger this upload to go, you know, probably live later on tonight, maybe around the same time that normally I would have uploaded it, like around 9.30, 10 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so anyway, today was a good day of streaming. We returned to Baldur's Gate 3 and also had a chill podcast that covered a few gaming news topics about Xbox. Um, particularly, right now, Xbox is a little under hot water and or possibly among controversy because the CEO of a company, I think it's called like Moon Game Studios or something like that. The, the people the people who made Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of the Wisps and stuff like that basically came out and said, if you want to support our company, buy our game on Steam, don't get it on Game Pass because we don't get anything out of it. And of course, now the internet is rife with people going crazy. What? You don't benefit from Game Pass and stuff like that. So there's all these different debates and I talk about it on the show today about I wonder how the revenue actually works for Game Pass and we had some fun Q&A and stuff like that. In general, just a chill podcast. Now, the meat of today's stream was the return to Baldur's Gate 3 uh, earlier than expected, because if you remember, the original plan was to play the living heck out of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and only play Baldur's Gate 3 once a week. But, number one, there was major demand for Baldur's Gate 3 to return. Number two, people already started to feel a little burnout at the amount of Final Fantasy VII that I had played. And number three, we've been talking about this recently, it's just basically RPG burnout right now. There's way too many RPGs that I'm playing at once. So I'm probably not going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 at release when it comes out later this month. I might save it for later this year when we have less RPGs going on. And so with all that going on, I don't highly, really have to rush through Final Fantasy VII as much anymore so we can take our time. So we decided let's start alternating again between Baldur's Gate 3 and Final Fantasy VII. And that's indeed what we're going to do starting today. And so today's first stream was Final, uh, excuse me, Baldur's Gate 3. Um, and we did uh, uh, various different things. You know, we found a way to get to the supposed area called the Iron Throne, which apparently is a uh, prison. But people warned me, it's one of the hardest, most annoying quests in the game. A lot of people hate it. Uh, it's worth doing by the end of the game, but recommended that I basically do other quests first to look for better loot, level my characters up one final time, and basically get to my best self before we take it on. So, that's what I did. Even though we found the entrance, I didn't do it. Uh, went back and started investigating the town, went to various different inns and pubs and found different quests. We, we are basically getting deeper into the murderer quest line. There's that gnome, or excuse me, this dwarf who's trying to murder people to initiate him or get himself initiated into this cult of Baal. So we got really far in that quest today. And overall, you know, great progress, chill vibes, and great support for the stream. So thank you, everyone. It really was a good streaming day. Now, before we get to the schedule for the rest of the week, there's one quick thing that I should mention. Both last night on my Heavy Rain stream on DSP Throwback and again today during my stream of Baldur's Gate 3, apparently trolls out there are viewbotting my streams. Now, this has happened before. This is not a new thing. This has happened in the past. They actually tried it several times over like an entire summer. I remember when I was playing um, the last uh, Plague Tale game. It was like, like not this fall, but the fall before. They kept coming by every day and view body, view body. It doesn't do anything, all right? Just so everyone knows, I've been through this and I've looked into it. So basically when someone view bots you, it looks like you have more viewers than you do. Those view botters can also, for example, like the stream, but that's about it. It doesn't actually affect the stream. The views don't count towards your stream. Um, when the stream goes offline, it accurately reflects who was really there and the bots never count as overall views. In addition, you don't get ad revenue for view bots. So it's not like these view bots are going to do anything to really mess with the streams besides, oh, it just artificially inflates the view count. I said as much today, but the trolls a brain dead idiot who doesn't understand they're literally throwing away their money for these view bots apparently um, and continue to do it over the course of the stream. Again, 
a streamer has no control over this. There's no way you can stop it from happening. I condemn it. I would never do it myself. I mean, I've been doing this for 16 years. I've never inflated my numbers in any way, shape, or form. If that were the case, you know what I would have done many, many years ago uh, when I was very popular on YouTube and I was getting millions and millions of views a month, but I only had like 100,000 subs. I probably would have like, oh, let's get subs on this channel, right? Because back then, we're talking like 10, 15 years ago, popularity on YouTube was actually based on how many subscribers you had, not how many views you had because subscribers was public facing and views was not. So basically... You know, back then, that would have been something that benefited me. But view botting does nothing to help a channel at all. It's really stupid. It's pointless. It's against, you know, my, my philosophy as a content creator. I've never done it, and I'm not doing it now. So just so everyone knows, because they're like, oh, no, is this going to affect the streams? No. It's not going to give me extra ad revenue. It doesn't reflect on the video after. It doesn't record to your channel. It's just stupid bullshit that some idiot does to get attention, basically, and throws money away doing it because they're morons. It's not free to do this. So FYI, that's what's going on. If this moron continues to do it over the week, again, I have no control over it. It's not going to affect the channel because, you know, it's nothing I'm doing, nor is it anything that would give me any kind of a benefit. So don't worry about it. Just ignore it. You know, that's all you can do. But now it's happened twice, which leads me to believe it's probably going to be an ongoing thing until the idiot grows up and realizes they're just wasting their time. Who knows how long that will take because these people are not exactly the smartest on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just ignore it and it should be fine. Okay. All right. Now. Tomorrow, I'm back to full-time streaming. I'll actually be here for a full st streaming day. First stream will be the Level 1 Podcast, followed by Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where we're going to actually head into the next story segment of the game. We're done. We finished the entire Grasslands optional segment, and now we're on to the next story beat, and I wonder what it's going to be. We'll find out. Tomorrow night, Tekken 8 returns on the late stream, where I'll be using Yoshimitsu and trying to rank him up to the purple ranks. I don't know if we'll get there because it's been a rough going, but maybe we will. We'll see. So it'll be a, a good variety of stuff tomorrow. So if you're wondering, oh, man, what happened to Baldur's Gate 3 because it's getting good, Wednesday is Baldur's Gate 3's next stream on the day stream. Okay? All right, everyone, thank you so very much. Enjoy the videos, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Peace out, peace out be safe, and uh, see you in the a.m. Bye-bye.